Hello my dear aquarellistas. I hope you're still hanging in there and managing uh, without our classes. But you know the good news is that the weather is improving and vaccines are being distributed. So who knows, we can maybe start again soon. Until that time I'll keep you uh, involved with the challenges and here is number 26. The idea is to paint a beautiful subject, this time it's going to be a pike. And the pike is a fish, a fascinating, slightly dangerous fish with an amazing pattern. So I have uh, added a couple of uh, interesting example photos to the mail that you receive to the weekly. And uh, some of them are showing the pattern clearly and others have a fantastic background and I even added a painting, not by me, but really interesting and showing everything you want to know. Also I've added um, explanation pictures of how the pattern is. I would have loved to join you and show the demo, but I have two painting portrait commissions uh, and unfortunately no time to uh, do that, but I have added a demo and it will come in handy because it is a uh, demonstration of how to flatten your buckled paper. And when you don't stretch your paper, that's most of the time it's necessary to flatten it. And there's a very easy method to do this. So uh, I am really looking forward to your versions of the pike and uh, I hope to see you soon again. Ciao, ciao! So for today I'm going to show you how to flatten a paper like this where you've made a, a very wet in wet watercolor and that is now very much buckled. Uh, it would be impossible to put this uh, in a passepartout and I'm going to show you how to flatten it. As preparation you need two pieces of paper that are big enough to uh, cover the complete uh, paper, uh, painting and they are only necessary to protect the painting because often on the surfaces there's a, a bit of dirt and a sponge that is wet not totally super wet but wet enough to wet the whole uh, watercolor and um, a stack of books or something else that is heavy enough to cover the whole painting and flatten it step one take the painting put it upside down on a clean surface wet the sponge a little bit and wet the back completely I've not put the paper yet just because um, uh, that would be wet too and now I'm going to get the first piece of paper and I'm putting the wet watercolor on it and then the paper to cover it sketchbook and another heavy book and another heavy book hi Sandra and now we're going to wait a full day 24 hours to uh, see if it worked out hours have passed and I am now going to remove the heavy stuff and remove the protective paper. That's looking good. Oh yes, look at that, super flat. Would perfectly fit a passport. So that was it. Bye bye.